Hi, welcome to Bass Pro. Today we are going to be fishing for steelhead at my loco river and I'm going to show you how to rig a rig for steelhead. Now you need um, float, a slip sink, slip bobber, split shots, or um, bobber stops. Now if you have bad line like I do, well this line's not bad. It's, it'll hold up for this time, but I'm going to put new line on it because you can see it's really tangly. You want don't you would rather want to use a bobber stop because it's gonna crimp up your line and you don't want that. But you need a bigger today. I'm using a bigger split shot to go on the bottom because we have really really high winds today and a smaller one to go on top. Now I just put this on top about um, um how far I want it to go up. So I think I probably want it to go up about um, let's see this far. <clears throat> Just put the split shot on. And that split shot's on now. You want to put your. I recommend fill or till night and day slip sinkers. The, the orange side goes on the line first. Just feed it through like this. I'm going to try to do videos every Saturday and the quality of my videos will get better. I'm just starting out now. So, just bear with me. And maybe about a half foot up or about this far up, you put your mm, second split shot on. Okay, now you got about this far where the bobber is really going to go up and down. Then I use for this because the spawn sacks, we were, well, let's talk about bait real quick. The two baits that I use for steelhead, let's talk about bait, not lures, are spawn sacks or imitation spawn sacks. Imitation spawn sacks, just regular eggs are like these, just fake salmon, they're fake salmon eggs for dumb um, still having trouble. But what I use is the real egg sacks. Now you gotta be careful because they're not legal in some areas to use. But and the hook I'm using will will really go on to those salmon eggs. Um, I'm using a um, laser sharp little hook here. It's a small hook. I think it's probably a maybe six or eight aught. And the knot I'm tying is I, I think it's called a fisherman's knot. I'm tying a fisherman's knot on this because I think that the that's a really strong knot. do this sometimes. I'll show you how to tie that in a different video. Yeah, these hooks are really, really sharp. Cut off your tag end, because that will sometimes spook the fish if it touches them. Always carry your pocket knife. That's it, ladies and gents, for this steelhead rig. You got your slip sink, you got your split shot, slip bobber hook. Looks like this, all hanging. And we will see you back out on the wall. Guys, this situation right now is not good. This river is supposed to be clearer. Well, clearer than this. I'm going to fish here because, I mean, quitters never win. But this is bad. 
Of course, on a day like this, being 63 in the dead middle of February 2nd or 3rd, it's got to be like this. I'm going to have to do a remake of this video because I can tell you right now, I have probably a 1% chance of actually catching a fish here today. But nevertheless, I will fish here because quitters never win. Alright guys, I'm sorry the wind is so bad, but I'm going to show you how you would put one of these salmon sacks on the hook. They come in tubes like this. I'm using pink. And there's nets around. Just try to hook it right in the middle of the net. And they're very hard to come off the hook. But what we're going to do is, we're just going to throw it up river and let it float down. I'm having line problems. I'll be back. Guys, I have gone to last resort. This is miserable. I'm trying to stick in the little bay here because the current's not strong and maybe the fish will be gathering over here, but otherwise I can't fish. I can't fish this water today. I, I can't fish it. I, I am sorry to say, but you know, I'm going to put some pictures on here of what the water looks like on a normal good day but I'm gonna I'm not gonna do the videos every Saturday thing I'm gonna do the videos whenever I can and guys I'm sorry that my videos are not high quality but I'm trying my best to get good views on this channel and it's difficult when this happens it makes me look like a fool but, I mean, I, I'm not going to sit out here, waste my time, waste my salmon eggs, because i got to drive far away to get the real ones. And it's just not that good of a day for fishing. It really isn't. 
So you know what? We're gonna leave here and we are gonna put our, walk home with their tail between our legs. But you know on days like today where the, wa the water is just extremely bad, you waste your time out here, that's what you gotta do. I'm sorry to say, but I am out for this video. I'll catch you. When, the, when this water comes down and this water calms down, I tell you right now, we will be back out here and we will be kicking it out again. Watch your weather. When we have a lot of rain, you know, then the rivers are going to be high. That's not going to be the best place to fish. Alright, this is Big G out. Bass Pro out.